Hey church, so just want to share a few words with you. I'm in, Bo- in Narrabri at the moment on the way home from Bogabilla and I just thought, well, it's a selfie video and all. <laughs> and, um, but I just really wanted to capture something that was just sitting really fresh in my spirit while it is fresh. And uh, like I said, we've just come back from Bogabilla and I haven't spoken a lot about what's happened in Bogabilla or some of the battle points that we've been working around. But uh, what I have seen today is a real picture of the potential of just something incredibly God breathed in that community, but also the beginning of something in our region. So we've been there, Jim and I have been in Bogabilla with the team there. And uh, Pastor George and Shelley met us in, in Moree and we headed over to Bogabilla together. And we've had an incredible time just building a sense of family, speaking life and hope connecting with key leaders who have a real potential to be a part of a significant move of God, just building that relationship and looking for, you know, the way forward for our our church there. (laughs) My fingers in the way and all. This is real. This is life. So welcome to life. Um, So Isaiah 61. Isaiah 61 talks about the Spirit of God being poured out in such a way that people come out of dark places, that they're set free from their prison cells, that blind eyes are opened, that people step into something of vision and hope. And it goes on to talk about beauty instead of mourning and, you know, the garment of praise instead of the spirit of heaviness. And this sense that what God wants to birth by His Spirit is in the absolute opposite direction to what the enemy is doing in communities, in regions, in nations, in families. And uh, right at the very end of that chapter, it starts talking about them being um, called Oaks of Righteousness, the planting of the Lord. And it actually speaks about the people that have been received, that have received so much of God's heart and so much of a deposit of the Holy Spirit becoming repairers of the breach restorers of streets to dwell in. And we know there's so many communities in Western and outback New South Wales that really need God to restore some breaches and to bring restoration and to bring healing and to release hope. And uh, honestly, I feel that we have started to see the birthing of that in our community in Bogabilla in the last few days. And, you know, we've had an incredible time and we've had some God appointments, but oh, it's just had such a strong sense of family And I I know that it's bigger than just Bogabilla, it's bigger than Condo, it's bigger than Wagga, it's bigger than Burke, and there's something new God is doing in our region, and we're so blessed to be a part of it. So I just want to honour you guys. Thank you for praying and standing with us for uh, this weekend. We know it's the first of many, many times. I'm looking forward to the day that we can actually take some teams of people to Bogabilla, and you can see for yourself some of the things that God's doing. But we do have the girls coming uh, out to Condo for our women's event in July. They're coming to Burke in September. And I know that we're at the beginning of something very new in God. So let's keep going the journey together. Keep praying for the team in Bogabilla. Keep praying for the river of living water to flow through our land, bringing healing and hope. And uh, let's continue to lift Jesus high above all things. Amen. Thanks, guys. Can't wait to see you all. And uh, praise God for his goodness and grace. Hey, see ya. What's been your favourite thing about the weekend? Meeting family. I've connected with another family. And um, it has just been an awesome weekend. It's been a God thing. Awesome. (laughs) This is uh, Shelley. And I'm George, Pastor George Shelley Mann from Burke. Hi. And why are you here and where are you? Ah, uh, we're in Bogabilla and we're here today to uh, talk to some people and just to try to see if we can uh, sort out some stuff to get a church going here. And what is your sense? What's stirring in your spirit when you think about Bogabilla and, well, and this place? Well, I think God's... Uh, I feel God's spirit's brooding over this area. I feel like he's um, wanting to do something and he's just wanting us to put things in place, some structure in place to see so that can happen. Yeah. And what's your heart for Western New South Wales? Western New South Wales, my heart is to see these little fires that have been yeah. prophesied about so many times and years ago to start uh, being sparked. And I believe those, those little fires will be little local churches local churches that will be established in the communities to bring God's kingdom.
and the message of God's kingdom into those communities. And for anyone watching, how can they be praying and a part of what God's doing here? Yeah, well, I think you can you can pray and you know and uh, pray that God will bring divine connection because we need divine connection. We've got big vision, but no people, and so. <laughs> And so whenever God does something, he, he, he connects us to people to help us um, fulfill his purpose. And so, so pray that we'll make the right, right connections and the right divine connections to, uh, so we can see this, this happen through our region. Awesome. Thanks, Pastor George. No worries. <laughs> How'd the weekend go from your perspective? Oh, <laughs> that was great. Yeah, really. God's really doing some good good things here and um, yeah I can I can see each time we come there's a step forward and um, yeah there's going to be some restoration going on very soon yeah oh, so. and what's been a highlight for you oh uh, just seeing Gabe come coming on in leaps and bounds and being so open and wanting the Lord to uh, yeah to direct his life and put him in a good position to, uh, to be useful in this community, so, yeah. What's been your favourite thing about the weekend? What's been favourite? Yeah. Relationships. Building a relationship with people. Yeah. yeah, that's my favourite. Meeting God's people. It's been incredible, hey? Yeah, really good. My name is um, Charmaine McIntosh. I live here in Bogavilla. Um, I'm a strong black Aboriginal woman and I love Jesus Christ, my Lord. And this weekend has really opened the doors that in my life where God has just run such wonderful people here and my phone goes off straight away. <laughs> and um, it's been a real blessing because I was always a worship leader and I sort of shied away from that, you know, I sort of um, let condemnation come in. But then uh, just this weekend, God just opened the doors right up on my heart with such praise and worship, you know. And I really love God so much. He's done so much in my life and really wouldn't know where I'd be without him. But I really thank God for sending these wonderful people to us to encourage us, give us the strength to just keep taking one day at a time. And that's what a family of God is. We encourage one another, we lift one another up, we edify one another with the word, with praise and worship. So thank you again, Sharon and the team, for coming down and just giving us the strength to go. Um, 